Hey guys, today's call, I have no idea what we're going to. All I know is that it's a problem with their heat and um, kind of in a rough neighborhood. Come with me, we'll go catch this call together. At the light, Stay tuned. Turn left on All right, I walked in and, and the complaint is they've got it turned off, but it won't shut off. And I hear the blower running, it's turned off and the fan's on auto. So let's go take a look inside and see what's going on. You know on this one the panels facing the wrong side so we got to get over on the other side and see what's going on That's a mouse poke. Outside the yard's full of dog poop. And in here. I've diagnosed this before and gave an estimate to fix it. what I'm about to show you. Y'all see that? Right now, we just want to figure out why the blower won't shut off. <laughs> okay, if getting up here ain't bad enough, I have 24 inch centers and there's an open space right here where my panel is so I've literally got no place to sit or stand lovely we got a burn up blower relay see what I need 
it was probably pulling 20 amps and bringing on the one of the heat strips <clears throat> that's why it burned up like that but anyway I, I think I see what I need and I've got a board y'all see how I'm kind of precariously perched right here I've got a board I can bring up here that'll help a relay <clears throat> we gotta go in the backyard to kill power Y'all forgive me, I haven't eaten lunch and it's late in the day, so I'm a little bit shaky. As y'all can see, I have my, it's a three quarter inch piece of plywood cut long enough to go over 24 inch centers. I put it in my van, um, excuse me, just for um, situations like this where I need something to sit on. All right. All right, I see my This is going to be for my fan right here. That one. One of the ones that got hot. This is normally closed and that's normally open. This is my low voltage right here. I think first I need to um, figure out what kind of damage I have here first. Let's see if we can figure this out. All right, that's power right from transformer. Y'all see that? It's right there. So that gives transformer power, and this is power all the time. Comes off that contactor back there. That little transformer wire's got a spade connector on it that I probably don't have in my, my little bag here. But let's um, pull that off. We know that that and this get power all the time. I need some extra wires. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's follow this back. All right, that's one of my, that's my black wire going to the blower. All right, so that one goes directly. This one, the white wire on my blower goes directly to my transformer. And this one, my black wire, let's see if I can pull a little extra. This is going to go right here. And these two are going to be power all the time. About got to be. Let's see what that blue one. Yeah, the blue one is power all the time for the relay. And this is going to be my normally closed. If y'all can see this, I'm going to try to show you. That blue wire is on power coming into the transformer. And if you look down there on the bottom, there's an orange wire. That orange wire is for the fan coming out. And as you see on the wires there, that goes straight to the heat strip. Those wires there come back and go right to the wire nut. So the top of this contactor is the inside or the power inside of the heat strips. And this blue wire right here has power all the time. All right, so we know what's what. Let's get this. Let's get this thing out of here. Okay, what I've got is the exact same thing. There was a local story from last night. One of the big employers in Camilla, Georgia, a chicken processing place, had an explosion that might make national news. All right, that's my normally closed. So that goes right there. They said a, bo a boiler blew up. And I need some more wire. A boiler blew up, killed one person, injured some people, and um, collapsed part of the building. Let's just say I'm glad I wasn't there. All right, this little short wire goes to normally closed. The wire to bring on your blower motor goes right here. And when this is normally closed, that has power when the heat strips come on. <clears throat> so it'll bring on the blower. This wire here goes right there for my blower. The other side has power all the time. That's on <clears throat> our blue wire right here. And in fact, I might steal a little bit of wire off of this.
Now this wire goes right to my blower motor. And we're putting it. Let's see if I can show you on this relay. This is my low voltage. So when I get a call on green, green and common, it's going to close these two and open that one. All right. So now when the heat strips come on, this wire becomes hot sends voltage to that one when there's no call on G. When there's a call on G, that opens up and these two right here on the top, they close. So what we need to do is get power to that 24 seven. That's what this wire is right here. get this taken care of I can deal with that filter I think I've got some 20 by 20s in my truck Enjoyed if you do, how about like and subscribe? And I'll catch you on the